Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode. So, before we begin, I... I just want to make a few announcements. We're going to be... We're going to be changing up a few things here and there and doing different videos, you know, uh, Animal Crossing, Subnautica, Super Smash Brothers, more, more range and more differences to some respect. Um, what we're doing right now is going to be behind the scenes of the town, you know, how everything was built, like, you know, there's a Costco over there. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm, I mean, should I start over where J, eh. no, let's just start over by, um, let's just start over by Costco and I'm going to be, I'm going to be working like around the whole area of Algonquin and Lake in the Hills. And how I do that is I go through, uh, I go to Google Maps and I um, do some measurements and I'm like, okay, this is how this is going to be built and this is how this will be built and, you know, stuff like that. Um, what I want to talk about is, and, and basically during these sessions, like I We'll probably just talk on about my day and how everything is going, and or I'll just talk about how uh, you know just stuff in life in general, kind of like a I don't know like a personal like a person like a vlog almost, and I may not talk at all, so then other times I just may, uh, I may just, like, speed run this whole thing and chop it down to a few minutes. These videos will probably range 20 to 30 minutes, probably 25 is the highest I'll go for a video and do that. Um, life right now is kind of just teetering on the edge of trying to keep it together and mentally prepare for what's coming the next day or just just absolutely trying you know from one day to the next I've got to worry about coming outside going to my job you know it I shouldn't be but that's what it's become due to due to every Due to the way shit's been going around. And it kind of sucks that this is what our life has been reduced to, to where we're now waiting in line for groceries and we're late. We're waiting in line for basic necessities. Now, when this all started, I wasn't the, I wasn't going to Costco and buying shitloads of toilet paper. Why? Because I didn't need it. It, we've had, we have had ample amount of time to get everyone's affairs in order, and I just think people didn't listen, or they don't choose to listen, or they're too stupid enough to see that we have to stay inside, we cannot go out unless it is absolutely necessary. I have to go out every day and risk my life because I work in retail, well, I work at a retailer and all I do is push fucking carts or I got the new job of gas station attendant which is going to be fun and exciting and new learning a lot of new things along the way but due to this it has put so much strain on people um, it's put so much strain on people and then how their day to day lives are affected. I thought that, you know, we could rise up as a community, as a country, and be and fight this thing like we've done so many times in the in the past. But we've let uh, politics and 
and greed corrupt what this country became, what this country was known for. And I'm not going to be tuning my own horn and acting as if I'm not also to blame. I don't act, I don't expect everyone to act as if I'm perfect or if I have it privileged. I just make the right decisions at the right time and sometimes I make the wrong decisions at the wrong time too. I say things that one day I may mean and then the other days I just, I just don't. Something like that happened just real recently, a couple months, about a month back. Got in a fight with the girl and there went four years. Am I upset about what happened? Yes. Do I wish I could change it? Yeah, I do. I wish I could go back and slap myself in the head saying you need to apologize for what you did. But I know I can't go back and I can't go back. I've got to go forward. I told myself I would do anything to, to just sit and talk with her. But they say I'm sorry. was in a real dark place for a while when she left and I don't think I've been right ever since and I know that it's stupid for me to talk about it because it's just giving her like oh she's winning and other people may say no it's good to talk well I say screw it I'm gonna talk if I want to talk about it I'll talk about it and was this my fault yes do I regret it yes but I have to move on with the fact that I still have good memories and I'll never regret it. I just wish I could see her one last time and sit and talk with her and say I'm sorry. And I know I'm not the only one to go through heartbreak, but due to my ignorance and in, due to my ignorance, I lost it. And because of that, I let a lot of things go. I lost a couple friends and I alienated myself from everyone for a while. And even to this day, I still make mistakes. I lost s someone who was, who and I were beginning to become friends that from my past it would be hardly unlikely, but due to my Due to my mouth and my ignorance, I lost that friend, and now I may someday soon pay the price for that. I just wish I could go back and, and change it. But I know I can't. I do miss her, but I can't stop living in the past. I'll always have good memories of her in my heart, and I at least hope she has a better life. And if one day she comes back, I'll be very grateful and very happy, and I won't lose her again. But as of right now, we can only just sit and wait. I guess this is kind of what's going to keep me going and, you know, I hope to get famous off of it one day. Speaking of uh, losing friends, I, like I said, due to my own mouth, due to my own mouth and my own ignorance, I uh, recorded a video a while ago and I said it was from a television show back in the 90s or 80s called Duckman. And from that quote, I'm not going to say it here, but the language was very racial and nothing 
extremely bad, but it was very unintentional. And I talk to a lot of friends, and they they say that it's just comedy and you'll piss off a lot of people, but this wasn't comedic. It was just me trying to express a point that was said back then. I'm, I've got a lot of uh, quotes lined up for future videos to where a lot of them may be hurtful to some, and if I lose friends along the way, then so be it. I wish to thank the friends that have stuck with me throughout this time, and I appreciate your support. I don't know. I think I've just lost my way. <laughs> lost how to become a lot of things and due to her leaving it kind of shook my it kind of put my life into perspective never forget the way she smiled and her, her opinion. She was brave and, dare I say it, dauntless to do the things that she loved to do and didn't give a shit about what anybody else cared, what anybody else cared or think. brave and strong and knew when to do things and she was badass old tough motherfucker and I let her and I lost her due to my own foolishness and incompetence and my selfishness Other than that, life has just been going on. Coronavirus bullshit this, and stupid people buying bullshit balance of toilet paper that. Gotta get the fucking toilet paper. Fucking bullshit politics. One day they're saying, oh, it's not that bad. Everybody's gonna be in church. Everybody's gonna be in there by Easter. The next thing you know, oh, it's fucking bad again. So-and-so's got the virus. people are scared out of their minds not knowing what the fuck's going on because of bullshit news and political media this is fucking up this country <sighs>